Here we have eight year old gentleman with cholangitis and gallstone pancreatitis confirmed on CT, which showed dilated uh, CBD up to eight millimeters with possible stone. Uh, and his blood works were typical for bilary obstruction. And today patient is here for ERCP, uh, which will be performed by Dr. Haber and by Dr. Carroll. Okay, great. So basically, I mean, his uh, transaminase has jumped very high, over 400. Uh, lipase, a 2,000. So a classic biliary uh, pancreatitis. Now, his numbers have improved a little bit, but he still had sludge in the bottom end of his bile duct based on the MRI. So we do feel there's lots of indications for a sphincterotomy. The other thing is that the MRI this morning showed a lot of pericholecystic fluid. His white count was 25,000 yesterday. It's my intention to try to put a double pigtail stent into the gallbladder if it's feasible and relatively simple. I don't think he's going for cholecystectomy in the next few days. They want him to recover from the pancreatitis first. So I think that that's the game plan. And now, you know, for cannulation, I think we've seen a lot of this. But basically what you want to do before you touch anything, you want to look at the axis of the bile duct, the bulge you see in the duodenum. And we often sort of go in, we'll lift up the folds, we'll have a look, we, you know, probe around, we see it's a little bit bulbous there. Um, and we can see we lift up and forward. And if we look down at the orifice, we can see it looks a little patchless. So something like this is, I tell my fellows, you better be able to cannula like this within a couple of minutes because he likely just passed the stone, should make easy cannulation. Now, having said that, I've totally jinxed myself. It'll take me a while. <laughs> so I'm going to keep my mouth shut and cannulate. So basically, I don't do a lot of bowing of the sphincter, tome, and all that. I just control the tip with the elevator. Um, I'm using a scope I don't use regularly, but I think it'll do the same job. This is the Pentax scope, I think. So we're going to just push this up a bit. Have a look. There's the opening. With, with tight openings, sometimes we'll go a little bit of the wire out. This elevator. I'm going to try to just get myself engaged. You know, we could sometimes put a little bit of wire out to help us get engaged, which we've done there with a tiny bit of wire. So I'm sort of in an area which I like, but I don't think I'm right on the mouth of it. So it's a small punctum there. I think that's it right in front of me. He's coughing a bit. Sometimes it's Greg, you're controlling your own wire. Do you do that back home too? Or you yeah, just don't I, trust the nurses here? No, I control my own wire. I and mean, we largely have rotating assistants. So we have different experience. Okay. So we've just popped in. I don't know where I am. But um, can we just, oh, a little fluoro. And we'll just advance the Show wire. Show us fluoro, please. It looks like we're somewhere, but it's not going in easily. So what I'm going to do is change the angle a bit. I use fluoro a lot to determine direction. And even though it's a wire guided, which we see here now, we're up the duct. But if I couldn't get up right away, I would certainly go to a little, little bit of contrast injection. Can we have a look a little bit higher up towards the hilum? So we'll, we'll go in there. Endoscopic, we'll, please. When we inject, I always tell everybody or my fellows, inject from the hilum if you can, because stones tend to be, especially cholesterol stones, a little bit lighter than the bile. So they'll float up into the liver. So if you inject, inject contrast, low down, you may, the, the stones will float on top and they may then be sort of float up into the liver. So we'll just go up here. I can control the wire. I'll go up to the hilum. We'll start injecting. Inject, please. Floral, please. Okay. And I'm going to look here if I can see the cystic duct takeoff. Keep injecting. Can we show the floral? Yeah, the floral for the audience, please, if they don't have it. Yeah, floral. we have it. Floral and endoscopic, please. I don't see any cystic duct takeoff at this Can point, although on the MRI it looked like a fairly high takeoff. So I'm going to keep coming back down a little bit. I'll keep the wire up. And Perfect. Kasha's eyes picked up that cystic duct high up coming off. Mm -hmm. Looks fairly small, but there it is. Fairly tortuous. Um, lots of uh, valves of hyster in there, which uh, we talked about earlier with horse. So it may be a tough one to get a wire in for transpapillary drainage. So we'll come back down. I think what we want to do is just get our sphincterotomy done. It may be a little bit unstable, so I don't want to spend a lot of time. But I do want to dredge the duct afterwards with a balloon. So we'll 